A ban on a ban. State Representative Brooks Landgraf is in the process of trying to pass a bill to prevent bans on gas and diesel powered engines. Rachel Robinson spoke to Landgraf and local oil and gas companies about this new effort. Rachel. That's right, Crystal. This main goal of this legislation is to prevent things that have been passed in California, banning certain types of gas engines. Representative Brooks Landgraf filed House Bill to ensure gasoline and diesel power engines can never be outlawed by local governments in Texas. One reason why I filed this bill is that we are starting to see a trend across the country, whether it's in San Francisco or Los Angeles or the entire state of California, uh, who has begun a process to ban gas powered engines uh, on vehicles uh, or lawn tools for that matter. Uh, just in the next few years. Something Landgraf said is already happening in our state. We have seen that creep here into the Lone Star State. The city of Dallas uh, also has a similar proposal uh, before their city council that would ban gasoline powered engines uh, for use within their city limits. Uh, to get this not to happen in Texas so we can have precedent set here uh, before too many of these communities, little boutique communities start doing it and causing problems for the rest of the state. And to be clear, this won't ban any kind of electric motors or cars. This bill would not prohibit you from using, uh, you know, an electric powered vehicle or an electric lawnmower, uh, but it just says that a, a government can't tell you that you can't use uh, a gas powered one. But allows more choice for consumers. We want the consumer to be able to have uh, the ability and the freedom to choose what works best, not only for what, not only what technology works best, but wor what works best for their pocketbook. It's good that Brooks is on top of this. It shows he's being very proactive. And again, you don't want little boutique areas of the state doing their own thing. Uh, the state ought to be able to enact its own laws and know what's best for the state. For this bill to pass, it will need the majority of the House and the majority of the Senate, and then it will go to the governor's desk to be signed.